Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if the air were cold enough, this next storm system would probably produce about 10 to 12 inches of snow, but not enough cold air. This is mainly a rain situation, but not for this evening. Again, heading out, you get a dinner, movie plan, some travel. It, it looks fine through at least the midnight hour. Thereafter, we'll start to see the first raindrops arriving after midnight and certainly towards daybreak. So if you're an early riser tomorrow morning, the rain is already coming down. Tiverton, cloudy skies, cool but not real cold here, 39 degrees. Most areas now are in the upper 30s to even lower. 40s. 41 in Westerly Providence at 39 and a pair of 40s in Taunton and New Bedford. Temperatures staying above freezing tonight, so when the precipitation starts, we don't have to deal with any kind of a frozen precipitation or ice. So the threat tracker for this evening, uh, low-level green, but once we get into the pre-dawn hours into Saturday, mainly uh, Saturday morning, we're looking at precipitation to be coming down actually heavy at times, so it's really the first part of the day. Heavy rain, perhaps an inch, inch and a half, and uh, some Gusty wind along the coastline. We're thinking anywhere from, say, 30 to 35 miles per hour. Things improving in the afternoon. And Sunday, overall, not too bad. We'll show you that in the seven day future cast. So you see the clouds streaming in right now. Where is the storm? Well, it's not too far off. It's developing. Looks pretty impressive on the satellite, that radar composite area of low pressure now near the Carolinas. And this will track north and east. Now, this would be a classic path for a big snowstorm, but as mentioned, that with the cold air not around, it's mainly rain. However, in northern New England, they'll pick up some snow. So this is what it looks like right now. Let's switch over into futurecast mode. Starting off at 8 o'clock this evening, clouds are streaming in. Here comes the shield of rain. Now, this is around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and we have Advance the map to 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. The areas of yellow and orange indicating some heavy rain and some gusty wind. You see the blue on the northern fringes? Now, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. Uh, ski country getting several inches of snow out of this. And then by noontime, the bulk of the rain is now pulling offshore. So it's a progressive system. I mean, some nor'easters can stall for a couple of days. This one keeps moving. So by early afternoon, look at this, we're starting to dry out. This is 4 o'clock, half hour before kickoff at Gillette. And things are finally drying out. It's windy still, but at least the rain has stopped. Temperature at that time up with 30s to low 40s. And this sets up for a windy, dry, cool Saturday evening and Saturday night. So your future cast for today. Night. First half of the night is dry. After midnight, the rain working in. Temperature at 35. Now, this is what the pre-dawn hours looks like, say, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, with rain likely during the morning, some uh, gusty wind as well. Temperatures, uh, fortunately, uh, well above freezing here Saturday morning at 42. And then during the afternoon hours, we're looking at drier air, uh, some gusty wind. I don't think it's complete clearing, but mainly cloudy, perhaps some partial sunshine uh, late in the day. Temperature uh, checking in at around 45. Four, uh, for the afternoon high, so not too bad. Even better tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. All right, seven day future cast. It is blustery, cool, and dry on Sunday, 39. Look at the drop in temperature here on Monday. Watch these numbers crash under gusty winds, daytime highs that'll be only in the 20s, and a few snow showers. We're not talking about a snowstorm, but you know, late Sunday night towards daybreak Monday, some scattered snow showers. This sets the trend for a much colder weather next week, but essentially dry. So it's a quick moving storm, but I would say the shutter off time everywhere by one o'clock we should be in good shape especially for the football game yeah that's good news all right yeah. thanks tony there's more